I'm now inside, but I'll draw something that more or less looks the same. It's dark and gloomy in my house, so we will add a background color here using this app I like called Sketch Club. I tend to be kind of a cool kind of guy where I start with a cold color and add warm, cold, dark color. So this app I use allows me to draw in shapes. For example, if I wanted to make a circle, I just draw the outline of a circle and it fills in. And um, the app I use is called Sketch Club and the tool I use is called Vector. I don't, Procreate might have a, a similar tool under a different name, shape and fill or who knows what. So my the interior of my house is a mishmash of all sorts of stuff. And maybe I'll, sh I'll add a picture of it so you can see that I'm not drawing abstractly here. I'm being a realist, even though you have, have no idea. If I showed you a photograph of my house, I think you'd think that I was on drugs or something because none of it looks like it should exist in the world. I imagine you're in an attic or a basement and, well, let's see, let's try to do this better. Let's say you're in, at a flea market, antique show, flea market kind of thing in the open air and suddenly the dam bursts up the up the hill up the uh, river and everything comes crashing down toward you and at some point you'll the water will flow off and you'll see debris fields of China and I don't know what what do people have at antique shops Victrolas, pictures, vases plus all sorts of other things that I like which are more um, sort of I don't want to say manly or butch but are more um, utilitarian. I have three wheelchairs, uh, two embalming tables, dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, binoculars, and probably 5,000 vintage fountain pens. How's that for a debris field? Um, this is becoming very, uh, what's the word I want? Sort of impressionistic. This is very abstract. But anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just creating a little bits and pieces of value uh, that I sometimes I can paint with a broad stroke other times it's kind of small small strokes let's see if I can do this While I'm here, I'm going to turn this off, go to my camera. Camera, where's my camera? Camera. See, this is what I'm looking at. 
See, I am a realist. Everything I'm drawing is exactly what I see. So let's go back to my drawing. Except I'm... The, the camera was giving a much more... Um, brighter view because the camera thinks that I want to take a picture. Smart cameras are pretty stupid. Oh, you mean this is just supposed to be bright? No. I'm taking a picture in the middle of the night because I want it to be dark. If I wanted it to be bright, I'd wait, wake up quite a bit later. You don't want to focus on the middle of the picture? No, I want to focus on the corner. Stupid smartphone. Okay, often what I do when I'm in a pickle, I'll just make the entire thing darker and then go back with lights lighter areas and brighten up, sparkle up the parts that I've been ignoring. That was supposed to be ukulele strings. What I'm drawing is what I refer to as my fluster cuck, which is almost identical to a clusterfuck, except I, ch I call it a flustercuck because some woman was very upset that her daughter found a YouTube video that I called, I entitled, oops, I entitled clusterfuck. And she was very upset. I said, responded saying, she must have searched for the word clusterfuck. It isn't my fault that she came across my video when she was typed the word. Don't blame me. So my fluster cuck, which is the thing I see every morning, is made up of a, the base of it is a, is the base for a um, dental x-ray camera. And I ended up taking a bunch of camera tripods, which I seem to have dozens of. And I turned them upside down and it hose clamped them to the various parts of the base. And then I hose clamped or attached my iPad, which is the thing I'm drawing right here, the black rectangle. And then I added some disco balls and a few other things just to make my day kind of fun in the morning. So even though this isn't exactly a still life, I know that Urban Sketchers is, we're not supposed to draw still lives, but this isn't a still life. There's not a bowl of fruit anywhere near here. It's, it 
That's a fluster cock. Yes, my house is sometimes organized like a vase of flowers, but um, it's not meant to be seen that way. It's supposed to look more chaotic. And, uh, and this is what I see. Parts of it are arranged. Parts of it are kind of random. So the light through yonder window breaks is at the top left of this picture. And then I've got some artificial light that's reflecting off the tripod bits. Well, I'll call that a day. That's pretty colorful. So now what do I do? I have to turn this thing off. How do I do that? this recording.